One of the other movies where we use the biggest to smallest technique is Young and Innocent, one of my favorite Hitchcock movies from the British period that most people don't know about. Um, the story has, uh, we are, it's about a screenwriter who is on the run from the law because he has been falsely accused of a murder. He knows that the uh, killer, actual killer, has an eye twitch. And so we know where the killer's going to be. We go there and it's this gigantic ballroom filled with hundreds and hundreds of people. The camera does this overhead shot of the entire ballroom and it slowly moves across the ballroom. Hundreds of people, hundreds of people, hundreds of people, people sitting, people dancing, till we come to the end of the ballroom and it cranes down to the band playing and we go right up to the drummer's eyes and like a Sergio Leone close up as his eyes twitch. And so we now know that that guy is the killer, but how is, how is our hero gonna find them in this huge room full of people? By using one sustained uncut shot, we basically take biggest to smallest and we show that this needle is in this haystack. And that is the, the great techniques of Hitchcock where he developed techniques like this that pretty much are almost lost these days. Uh, by using one sustained shot, we go, here's the haystack, and there's the needle.